Good afternoon and welcome to this final episode, episode 10 of my journey to the plot. There is the plot. I hope you can see the plot. Just about you can see the plot. Okay, so that is the plot. Welcome to my plot. This is the final episode, episode 10 of my journey to the plot. Five months ago I started the, uh, my journey to the plot, episode 1. And uh, I went all the way through with the troubles and everything. Now I started off giving you the reasons why I become the way I, can, the way I am. And also my trip to India. Now it was in India, in fact, I got inspired to um, make a, a garden of my own. That's 47 years ago, a chap called Ravi Anand and the foothills of the Himalayas when I rented his houseboat on the banks of the river Raiji in Srinagar, Kashmir. He had a lovely orchard, he had a lovely garden and I used to go for walks there. It was very inexpensive to stay there. I had three lovely weeks. I used to walk and he told me I could eat anything I wanted, sort of like a garden of eat. I eat, I did everything I wanted to do. And I really admired it and I, I really thought it was marvellous. He said one day to me, he says, one day you will have a, a garden of your own. So maybe he didn't know that a destiny was for me. Six years ago, I read a poem by William Butler Yeats. He was the Irish Nobel Peace Prize winner in 1923 and he was very noted for his native Inish free in Sligo. This is the town where I was born. Now I will just give you an idea, this is this, after reading this I really, uh, it, it solidified my belief that I should have a garden. He says, I shall arise and go now and go to Inish free and a small cabin built there of clay and wattle made. Nine bean rows shall I have there, a hive for the honey bee and live, live alone in the bee loud clay. I got my allotment six years ago after reading that poem and I've done four and a half years ago, four and a half months ago, I made the first of episode 10 of my journey to the plot. And that is where I sit right now in my little plot refuge. And um, I, I come here and I can relax and I can read my books. Here's one, it's, it's, um, it's, uh, it's uh, about wild things. And it's not about wild things, it's about wildlife in Britain, which is a very nice book to have indeed. I'll do a, a review of it uh, one day. And allotments, uh, I have um, lots of things. This is uh, Raymond Blanc, great chef. Uh, I have, uh, this is uh, my Bible, it's the um, uh, Professor Alan Grim, uh, Grimmel, uh, Jim Earl. He, uh, he has a very nice uh, directory of, of, of allotment and flowers and plants, etc. So there we go. Um, that's what I intend to do. I have my radio here and I have my tea. Now having said that, I think it's time that I put the kettle on. I'll just leave the camera down for a minute. I had my new daffodils, just my first cut of the year, and I put them in my uh, little house in the pot here. Now I cannot forget, oh, uh, when I was a child, I remember very well, a, a, po a poet, and he was the name of uh, William Wordsworth, and it was Daffodils, and it goes like this. I wander lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills, when all at once I saw a host of golden daffodils beside the lake beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. So there it is, the daffodil has arrived and so has spring. Well, I'm outside and of course the first growing for the new dawn is a potato and it's outside of the, the shed, so I'll keep an eye on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grow them in buckets and in here we've got uh, potatoes, they're charlottes in fact, they're not first dairies, but they've been uh, chitting so much but I decided I'd put them in. So I'm going to put four of them in, uh, four potato, and like that. I've already put uh, compost, I have put grow more, and I'm going to cover them up a bit more 
with the um, Cover them up a bit more with compost, and we'll see how they get on. That is my first. Uh, so we get some from this side, and we sprinkle them on the top. And there's my first growing of the season out, outside. In uh, as such, I have some stuff in the greenhouse which I'll show you. But at the moment, that's my first for the year, and it has to be a potato. Uh, car uh, these are coming on very nicely. This is garlic, that's fine. And in here, I listened to advice, and uh, I didn't put my onions in too early, so I have them in trays. Uh, here I have red baron, red onions. I have golden gourmet, which is small onions, and then I have shallots. No, no, these are stirring. Uh, excuse me. These are the shallots here and Red Baron more over here. So they're already the beginning to come up and they're only here about a week. Water underneath, so they're just uh, breathing away. These are where the tomatoes and the peppers will go. I just put solar lights in here to keep light at night. And uh, that's about it. These are little rackings I have. Something for catching little naughty flies that might come their way. Looking at the temperature today, it's not very hot. It's a barely Maybe if you cannot see it, but I can, it's 20, barely 20 degrees and that's in the greenhouse, so it's not too hot. I also would like to thank all the subscribers that have subscribed in recent months to me. Uh, it, it has made me very happy. Some four and a half months ago, when I started the first journey to the boss, from episode one, I had 44 subscribers. I have 255 or 260 at the moment. I didn't look at today. So I really thank you very much for that. Uh, it's been a great support and I hope that I haven't misled you about this famous plot of mine. But the plot is the shed that I, is this little place where I live now. And it's my refuge and it's my uh, home from home where I will enjoy myself. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all again soon. Bye bye for now. Bye.